Okay, this video is to show you guys how to solve equations that have fractions in them. Typically, when we see an equation that has a fraction like this one, we don't really want to solve it because it looks really complicated. And you can solve it by finding common denominators and adding and subtracting fractions, but there is an easier way, and that's called fraction busting. So on your resource page, let's write down the definition of fraction busting. It's an idea that we use to get rid of the fractions. So you want to multiply each term in the equation. So a term is just a separate part. So multiply each term by the denominator or denominators. So sometimes there's just one denominator and sometimes there's multiple. So I'm going to put an S here because sometimes there's more, sometimes there's one. And looking at the example that we're going to do, there is more than one denominator. There's a three and there's two. Okay, So I'm going to write out what it looks like to multiply by each of those numbers. So I'm going to multiply by three and I have to do it to each part of my equation to keep it balanced. And then I'm going to multiply by 2 to each part of my equation. And some of you guys are looking at this and thinking, this does not, not seem more simple. It seems more complicated, right? But before we do any math, let's try and look at them as three separate little parts. What is 3 divided by 3? 1, which means they really cancel each other out because multiplying by and dividing by the same number is nothing, right? Nothing happens. Over here, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So again, those cancel. And the last one, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So those cancel. And now let's look at what's left over. 5x times 2 is 10x plus 15 times 3, which is 45, equals 5 times 3, which is 15. And now I have an equation that has no fractions in it. And for most students, it's going to be pretty easy to solve. So if I want to get the x by itself, I'm going to take away 45. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. OK, so 45 minus 45 is 0. And I'm left with 10x on that side. 15 minus 45 is negative 30. And to get the x by itself, I want to divide both sides by 10. So my final answer is x equals negative 3. And just to show you guys that is in fact the solution, I'm going to plug it back into my original equation and make sure that the left side equals the right side. So my original equation was 5x. So 5 times negative 3 divided by 3 plus 15 divided by 2 should equal 5 divided by 2 if it's a solution. So 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5 plus 15 over 2 should equal 5 over 2 so 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 you can use your calculator or your brain and you're going to find out that negative 5 plus 7.5 is 2.5 and that does equal 2.5 so we found a solution so now I want you guys to do the problem on your resource page by yourself. So try and see if you can figure out what to multiply each part by and how to get your final solution. If you get stuck, come back to this video and I will show you how to solve it. Okay, so pause the video now and work on solving it. Okay, so this is the second problem on your sheet that you were supposed to try by yourself. And I see two denominators. I see six and I see eight. And I added a 1 here just to show you guys that there is a denominator there, but because it's 1, we don't really have to worry about it. Okay, So I have to multiply each part by 6 and by 8. I don't have to worry about the 1 because anything times 1 is just itself, so it doesn't really change anything. So now I'm going to go through and cancel out any pairs that I can. So 6 divided by 6 is 1, so they cancel. 8 divided by 8 is 1, so they cancel. And there's no pairs in the third part that's going to cancel, so I just have to keep everything there. So I have 8 times x left minus 5 times 6, which is 30, equals 4 times 6 times 8. So if you use a calculator, you're going to see that that is 192. 
And now we have an equation without any fractions that we can solve. So to solve for x, I'm going to add 30 to both sides, because that will cancel. And I have 8x equals 222. Finish it out by dividing both sides by 8. And you should get the answer x equals 27.75. And you can double check that by plugging it back into your original equation and seeing if the left side equals the right side.